Girls, what? it's been three months since we've had these Keens all-terrain wheels. You want to put them on? Come on, let's put them on. We're going to the beach this week. No. You'd rather sit there and watch your... Hi, family! We got these Keens all-terrain wheels literally three months ago and have not put them on yet. But we are headed to Hilton Head, South Carolina. Or is that, are you being me? We are headed to Hilton Head, South Carolina on Thursday and figured no better time than now to try out the all-terrain beach wheels. Are you going to help me or are you guys watching this movie? Watching this movie. Bye-bye. All right. Guess it's all me. Looks like our dog's been chomping on the box a little bit. <laughs> and here they are. Okay, I didn't realize it replaces the front and the back. Look at the size comparison between the rear wheels here. So on the right, this is our new all-terrain slash beach wheel. Here's the original here. Let's take a look up top. Some serious tread right there. Do some burnouts in this, girls. <laughs> and here's the front. Okay, so there is your original. Here is the all-terrain slash beach wheel. And look at this. We've had this thing for like well over a year and we still have the plastic on it. Oh my gosh. What do you think? Should we take this thing off road? It's in the middle. Yeah, well no. <laughs> I'm just comparing the size. That is the new wheel. Yeah. And the one in the back is the old one. What do you think? Cool, I guess. Yeah, cool, I guess. Ah! We take this thing mudding. Here is the other wheels and the new axle. How's that taste? Is that good, Jasper? No directions came with this, so I'm assuming you need to refer back to your uh, original Keen's directions for putting these wheels on and axle on, uh, which I think it's pretty basic anyhow, so I'd never read directions. Let's see how this goes. Let's check the clearance on this bad boy before we put the, uh, the new wheels on. What do we got, B? Like a little under nine and a half, maybe, maybe nine and a quarter in the middle? To take the front ones off, real simple, just push that up, pops right out. Look at that. So easy a kid could do it. You want to do this side? Yeah. Okay, well, hold on. All terrain wheels sliding in, and away it goes, or what? That's it. Pretty simple. Left side going in. These are labeled with an L and an R, so we're making an assumption that this is the left, the other side is the right. Front wheels are on. Look at this. It's all lifted up. Daddy. Jasper's in the back eating a rock. So we flipped it up to take the rear wheels off, and now we got to remember how we got them on originally. Oh, well, geez, okay, that's pretty easy. Oh my gosh, that literally took a second. This new piece pops right in. <laughs> pretty easy, though, look at that. Okay, lines right up, pop her in, pop her in, pop her in. Shut up and you can do it. New axle pops right in. Daddy had to put a little weight into it. New wheels going on. Pops right into place. Is it locked? Yep. Pop, lock, and drop it. Remember that song? <laughs> Good. Other side. It's ready to go. Flip this bad boy over and go take it off road. You flip it. I'm, I'm bent me. What do you think? Look at this. It's all lifted up like a big old truck. Where should we take it? To the beach maybe? Yeah. Everywhere. So we gained maybe an inch in height. Probably around 10 and a quarter. We were at nine and a quarter. This is 14 inches. Original wheel is, wow, only about 12 inches. Oh my gosh, how are you gonna get out? There's no wheels on it. <laughs> no, they're over here. They're laying on the ground over here. They're a new one. Yeah. How's the ride? So we pushed you around. It feels a little bit different. It almost feels like you're riding around on. Yeah, you are. You don't even need me anymore. It kind of feels like you're riding around on tires that are starting to go flat. So, I mean, not a big deal. We'll see how this ends up working out on the beach, okay? Ready? We're gonna say one, two, three, beach, and we're gonna be on the beach. Ready? One, two, three, beach! We are in Hilton Head, South Carolina. To answer the question, is the Keens the ultimate beach wagon? Got the all-terrain wheels on, and we are loaded up. You pushing? All right, let's go. So far, so good. All right, here we go. This is some thicker sand here getting down to the beach, so. Oh, 
Oh my oh, gosh. What's well, that? It's gonna be like a ride. Here we go. Ah, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I did almost fall. Yep. Not going to do it. Not going to work yet. Well, we had to take the girls out. Getting through this thick sand is not happening, but probably once we get out past this, it'll be a lot easier. I'm also having to drag it instead of push it. It's just, uh, it's just too thick. Are you eating sand? It's good? Don't eat sand. Once we got through the thick sand, this thing is riding like a dream. So I was also trying to pull it with the front wheels which was a mistake. I turned it around, pulled it, well, my wife figured it out. I started pulling it by the uh, big wheels and it was a lot easier, but it's actually working really good right now. Tiniest crab ever. Pick him up. You're scared of him, he's so tiny. Sand up. Two days of using the Keens All Terrain wheels. Is the Keens the ultimate beach wagon? What's right. the verdict? Yes or no? No. It's not? Yeah! Yeah, she was just fooling you. It was tough pushing it in the soft sand. If you have your kids in it and it's packed up, it's probably not gonna go too well. If you turn it around and pull it, so you're using the bigger wheels, it worked a lot better. On the way back up from the beach, my wife grabbed the other side. Kids weren't in it, but it was packed with you know all sorts of stuff, and it, it wasn't too bad with two of us at all. I thought it went pretty easy. I would definitely recommend the all-terrain wheels. It moved really well on the beach, on the harder sand. If you're taking it off-road, if you're uh, maybe jogging or, or taking it on grass, I don't know, mountain climbing, mudding. All-terrain beach wheels, we give them a thumbs up. Keens, use the Hart Family discount code, dropping it right here. 20% off, let's see B, 20% off. Let's see some 20 twin. 20% off using the Hart Family code. <laughs> if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>